Six Dogs That Could Defeat a Pit Bull First of all, before I start the video, I want to tell you that I do not support and don't agree with the real fight between dogs. This video represents a hypothetical struggle to find out which dog breed is stronger. The American Pit Bull Terrier is a companion and family dog breed. Originally bred to bait bulls, the breed evolved into all-around farm dogs and later moved into the house to become nanny dogs because they were so gentle around children, their tenacity, gameness, and courage make them popular competitors in the sports of weight-pulling agility and obedience. The bull breeds are often grossly misunderstood. The qualities that make these dogs tenacious players in obedience and agility games also attract highly unscrupulous people looking for strong. Competition for their dog fighting rings. The sorry result is that bull breeds, in particular the APBT, have gained a reputation over recent years for being dangerous. For most people, when they think of a strong and bad dog, the pit bull is the first breed that comes to their mind. However, there are some breeds that are actually much bigger and stronger than a pit bull. So let's find out together which breeds can defeat a pit bull in a fight. Number 6. Rottweiler Both breeds are considered dangerous breeds. Rottweilers are large and heavy dogs that have the ability to compete with a pit bull. Pit bulls may show aggression to seeing other dogs, especially when there is a strong and independent dog like a Rottweiler. A pit bull may try to get aggressive on seeing a Rottweiler. Rottweilers are powerful dogs and have much greater strength in comparison to a pit bull. Comparative studies have also shown that a Rottweiler can take down a pit bull. It will definitely not be easy, but if a Rottweiler uses all his strength, he can beat a pit bull. A Rottweiler has an aggressive nature and is mainly kept as a guard dog. A Rottweiler has more sharp canines than a pit bull. Due to their sharp canines, Rottweilers can easily bite pit bulls. A Rottweiler will tear the flesh of a pit bull and will beat him in the process. Due to its more aggressive nature and the ability to tear off the flesh easily, a Rottweiler can defeat a pit bull. Number 5. Tibetan Mastiff This still primitive Tibetan Mastiff dog breed was developed centuries ago in Tibet. Originally used as guard dogs for livestock and property, Tibetan Mastiffs can still be found performing that role, but they also enjoy life as family companions and show dogs. Despite their massive intimidating size, these pups are big softies when it comes to their human families. A male Tibetan Mastiff weighs in the vicinity of 100 to 160 or more 45 pounds to 72 kilograms. If a pit bull were to fight a Tibetan Mastiff, the pit bull wouldn't give up. I'll give it that. But in reality, its only weapon is its clamping jaw, which would receive not much more than a mouthful of fur. As much as many people like to hype up the pit bull, the reality is that the Tibetan would treat the pit bull like a salty snack. Tibetan Mastiffs can kill even a game-bred fighting pit bull. However, in my opinion, the pit bull is pound for pound a much better fighter. Number 4. Prasa Canario The Prazer Canario and the American Pit Bull Terrier are tough-looking canines. They are similar in appearance except that the appraiser is much bigger. On the other hand, the appraiser is much more demanding in regard to his temperament and the training that comes with it. Both breeds are dangerous if not groomed properly. The pit bull is more aggressive towards other animals while Prasa is aggressive towards humans. But in my opinion Prasa Canario is more dangerous if we look at it. Prasa Canario would inflict much more serious wounds if it were to end up biting someone. Those dogs are more massive than pits. Number 3. Borbol The Borbol has been bred from a Mastiff and a Bulldog and has only lately been classified as a breed on its own. I heard that Borbol were used to hunt lions and what they do is stand up on their hind legs and push you down to the ground. The sheer size of a Borbol alone, most of the standard sizes weighing 132 pounds 60 kilograms and some weighing up to 176 pounds 80 kilograms already beats the pit bull. For their size they are extremely agile and fast as well as protective, strong and a bit on the crazy side. They actually have more than a pit bull where that is concerned. 
so much so that they are more widely used for protection on farms as the locals are more scared of them than any other dog. So, imagine a pit bull up against a dog that looks like a pit bull but weighs double its size. So the pit bull will give it a go, but the boar bull wins hands down in size, attitude, and ferocity. Number 2. Central Asian Shepherd Alibi has a very thick skin that protects him from mechanical damage, but the dogs are very slow and clumsy by nature. Pit bulls are energetic and active, albeit small in size. In a normal situation, a pit bull will easily prevail over an alibi, but if the second is well hunted, angry, most likely, he will overcome a nimble pit bull due to his physical strength and mass. But think of a male average alibi weighs 154 pounds 70 kilograms. Alibi can take in size, as they will simply crush their opponent. Victory largely depends on who attacks first. Any dog can be trained, strength develops through constant training, the right lifestyle, and nutrition. Number 1. Kangal the Kangal dog is a large and powerful ancient livestock guardian, originally from the Sivas region in Turkey. This dog has been selectively bred over hundreds of years primarily as a Turkish shepherd, a guardian dog based on its size, strength, temperament, and appearance. Kangal wins almost 100% of the time they are about twice the size and strength of a pit bull and seem to be a few steps ahead of not just pit bulls, but almost every other dog. Probably Kangles will win this fight without needing a second bite. Kangles have the strongest bite force of any dog breed in the world, over 700 PSI. The Kangal would seriously only bite down once and that dog is going to lose a piece of its body. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. Until next time, farewell.